Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. It's just a body, Snow. If you can't do this... No, I'll be fine. I want to be here. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. It looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. Tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. 
Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? Well, I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Will you keep quiet? Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's... Her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I 
guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's... Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right then. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If 
you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. <sighs> Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. We just didn't see eye to eye on things. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. Not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <sighs> Lily. That's helpful. We'll check into it. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. <laughs>